Hello everyone and welcome back to Simple Rockets 2. Now everyone was asking us how I created the moon that I went to in the last video, last couple of videos, so I thought I'll just give you a brief look into how to do that. So I have I have actually got the beta version of the game, this is not the full release, this is the beta version for PC. So what you want to do is you want to go into de developer console, which for me is just the strange key above um, tab <laughs> and then you want to type in planet studio press enter and enter again that's going to take you to this screen right now what you want to do is just you want to load the standard system see you wouldn't have any of these you would only have Juno system and then what you would do is you'd clone this name the system whatever you want test in one okay new planetary system created okay so then you want to go on to load planet so if we just load up Luna here there we go so there's the moon as you can see in all its glory you get up close you can actually see the surface and all that stuff there you go so right what you want to do now go on to load planet you want to go down to Luna which is this one clone and then you want to name it um, YouTube file name YouTube new celestial body created so then you want to go into load planet find YouTube load that in right there we go right but notice when you go on to load planet here it tells you the location of the file so it's in user data celestial data celestial bodies and then it's YouTube so I'll take you now to XML editor which is editor which is I'm using Visual Basic and I'll show you that side of what you do next Okay guys, so we've gotten to the file location where it told us, so we go to App Data, Local Law, General and Simple Rockets 2. If you don't know how to get to App Data, all you have to do is put Percentage, App Data, Percentage, and there you go. You just click back one, go into Local Law, and there should be your Simple Rockets 2 folder. Right, so you want to go into user data, celestial database, celestial bodies, and you want to open YouTube. This is the first one you want to open. This is all your planetary. Um, this is all the information on the planet itself. But this is not enough. This is not what you need. You also need the planetary system that we created, which we created tester number one. So we want to open that. And that's also suggest opening a couple of the other planets, maybe like Drew. Because if you do want water and stuff, then you can find out all the information from this, what you need. Right. So if we go to our planet YouTube here. So I've still got Simple Rockets 2 open in the Planet Builder. What you want to do, you want to go in. If you want to change things, then the game's going to automatically update it so you can see what you've been changing. This is all the information about the planet. It takes a while to get used to and it takes a lot of figuring out, but I mean it's pretty much self explanatory. It it tells you all the parameters here. So a modifier, that's gonna modify the terrain. Um quality, that's just modifying the quality of the planet. You don't really need to mess with that. Terrain is just the type of terrain, atmosphere, scale, all that stuff. Now, scale, I would probably leave. I don't think you have to change it. I didn't change it. Um, to change the size of the planet, you want to come up here to radius. So, say if we put, I don't know, 20 here, and then we save it. If we go into the 
game, there you go, it's automatically updated to 20. It's as fast as that. So, this is all the information you need, really. I mean, you've just got to mess around with it, play with it, find out what you like, what you don't like. Textures, I wouldn't... Um, I wouldn't mess with any of the tiling settings. I really wouldn't, because you're just going to end up with a black ball of nothingness. If you want to change the textures, textures, sorry, to something that you would like that you've created yourself, then just change. You don't have to change these because then when it gets related further on, it's going to get confused. So all you have to do is change the file location here. So just change the name of this file for a different texture that you want to use. So on and so forth. But once you've modified it and everything like that, once you've changed, say, the biomes, you've changed the creators and everything like that, it's automatically going to generate a texture. So if you go into the game and you go into this menu here and you press build fast and then refresh database, it's going to build you a new texture for what your planet looks like down to, from these, you know parameters these textures are all just what it looks like the the color and things like that so obviously down in this creator is a dark texture up here is a lighter texture that's the only thing the textures do but once you zoom out obviously the world turns into one big texture rather than rendering in the whole planet it turns into a texture which is going to be different so if you start messing messing around with things and you're saying it looks different and then you zoom in and it looks different again, then all you have to do is go in here and build full and it'll generate a new texture to put on top of that. I know this is all confusing and it was very confusing for me as well, but this is just as much as I can give you. The reason I told you to go into Drew, see if you want water, Drew already has parameters for water set up, so all you have to do is go into the water modifier, copy it, and put it into your planet. Make sure it has water is set to true, and there you go. I mean, you've got water on your planet. But you've just got to mess with things, change settings around, keep going into the game, see what's different, come back out, change things, go into the game, see what you like. It's all about trial and error. Right, so once you've got that set up, that's your planet done, but it's not in the game. You haven't told the game that that planet exists. So that's why you have to go into the planetary system file. And here you go, here's what all the file references. So this is going to reference the planet file in the folders, so the game knows where to look for this planet. So I've already added it in here, so I've just copied Luna. I just copied Luna, pasted it below, changed it to YouTube, make sure it's spelled exactly the same as that you want it to be spelled in game and the file here is spelled exactly as the file of the planet is spelled because if it's not spelled right or it's caps and it's not meant to be caps, the game's not going to recognise the file and not know what to do. So then again here, all we have to do here is select the whole lunar celestial body um, argument here you just have to select the whole lot paste it underneath which I've done change that to match the ID up here so you want them to be exactly the same and then parent is what celestial body it's orbiting so if you want to orbit the moon you put in lunar here if you want to orbit the sun and make it a planet, you'd put in Juno because Juno is the sun. And if you want to orbit Drew, just put in Drew. I'm going to leave it at Drew because I mean, I'm fine with that. So this is initial rotation speed. I'm guessing it's it's rotation of the planet around um, around its own axis, not the orbit speed because that's going to be generated by the computer in the game sort of thing but you don't really need to mess with anything here all you need to do if you want it to go retrograde around a planet then you would change this to false if you want it to go prograde like every other planet then just leave it at true now this is 
this is the major thing you need to change. The semi-major axis, that is basically just its orbit height. So the moon is set to 38, I'll just set this at 12, which is a bit closer to Drew, and I'm going to leave it at that. Down here is your launch location, so if you do want to add a launch location, you're going to have to add it here. If you want to put like a launch pad on your planet, then just go down to the Drew, right at the bottom at Drew, and you just want to copy this structure nodes. You want to copy that so the game knows to put in the files that you want. And then also set the um, launch location. So there's launch location at the bottom here. There's launch location at the bottom here. This also needs to be set here as well. If you want to find a launch location, just go into the game. Zoom down to the planet. Pick where you want to be right here I want to start here so this is the longitude and latitude right in this corner here and the height above the ground level so there you go that is what is set there that is all you need it's literally all you need so without further ado I'll show you what you have to do next so what you want to do next now you've got these made these are just in user data, so these are just as planetary Planet Studio files. That's the only way the game's going to access them, and it won't work properly. So what you want to do is you want to copy this file, the Planet file, go back into the Simple Rocket 2 folder, Game Data, Celestial Database, Celestial Bodies, and paste it in there. Make sure it's in there. And then you want to go back once again, go to user data, then you want to go to celestial database, planetary systems, testing, you want to copy that, go back into the folder, game data, celestial database, planetary systems, and paste it in there. Then what you need to do, you do need to relaunch the game. So close the game, exit everything, reopen it, and it will be there as a proper planetary system which I'll take you through right now we've relaunched the game if we press play here just to make sure we'll go to new game planetary system and there we go it's listed as a full system rather than a, a custom created one and we'll name it testing two. there we go it's gonna load And we'll just launch this craft just to test it. So you want to launch. And now, moment of truth. We should have. There we go, we've got two moons. Obviously they've started at the same location because I didn't change that. But if we have a look here at YouTube, you can see it is vastly smaller than the moon, but it's there and it's in the game. We can now go to it. And if we have a look here, the semi-major axis, which is its orbit height, is set to 12 kilometers, 12,000 kilometers. So there you go, that's how you make a custom planet or moon in Simple Rockets 2. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one guys.